It's been a while since I've done one of these out and about type videos, so I just figured I'd do some quick recording from one of the dying blockbusters that I'm visiting today and um, see if hopefully I'm able to pick up something worthwhile today. So this store is actually one of the first blockbusters I ever visited when I first moved to the city. Um, I followed my brother in to the city, obviously. I didn't know my way, so I followed his vehicle and we literally just stopped at this blockbuster on the way and he knows how much I love movies and I was just looking to to check out the blockbuster from uh, from another area so this was literally the first blockbuster I ever visited when when first coming to the city and um, I still remember the first two movies I ever rented which were The Aura and The Thing and you know that's always going to be a special memory to me just the fact that first thing I ever did when first coming out here um, but yeah, it's um, probably be a little sad seeing the store go, but I later moved to a different part of the town and um, frequented different blockbusters, but this is the one I visited the most. So yeah, kind of sad about seeing blockbuster go, but I'm definitely going to take advantage of the, the great sales and pick up as much as I can while I can. So I did manage to pick up a couple of things. I grabbed uh, Red Riding Hood, which is actually the only one that I know that I've seen before. And I didn't think it was a bad story, plus it's one of my favorite fairy tales. Um, as I've said before, I think most women have some sort of a, a connection to some fairy tale creature or whatnot. But this one shows $4.99. It actually rang up $1.99, which was awesome. And a lot of these other ones that I picked up um, actually scanned about the projected price or less than I thought. So if I knew that, I would have kept digging. Uh, but the rest of these are just blind buys. Um, the Paperboy, don't really know what that's about. Um, so genre-wise, not a clue. I mostly just picked it up because uh, Nicole Kidman, I love her films. Um, so yeah, just a blind buy there. Uh, great cast, obviously. Matthew McConaughey and um, randomly Macy Gray, which I haven't seen around in forever. Uh, John Cusack. So we'll find out what that one was about. Uh, this is also another blind buy, um, also $4.99 rather than the $6. Um, also do not know what this one's about, but I'll find out. And um, this one, which I probably may regret, um, but uh, it just looks so crazy, and the fact that Tom Savini's in it, so that was reason enough to pick it up, plus it was just $4.99, so why not? So I'm just going to move on to the next store and see what I'm able to find over there. So we're back for round two at this location. We were here last weekend and we're here to see if we can find any other price drops and stuff. Cool. Also back with another milkshake. Cool. <laughs> I had a burger. <laughs> yeah, they filled in this table again because like last time it was smaller. Do you remember? I think so, yeah. Well, no, it kind of felt the same. It's put in, obviously, purchases have been made since then, and so now they pulled in more. It's been filled in a little more, though. And then remember, the Titans is on TV. I don't, I don't know, I've never seen it. Mm -hmm. I can't remember them. Looks <laughs> like <laughs> the sea of DVDs. <laughs> There's actually a movie called News. Good. Uh, weird. <laughs> Take the lead, noobs. Crank. Or crank the lead, noobs. Mm-hmm. Never heard of it. That sentence. That Jason Statham? I don't think so. He's too foreheady. And then that's how he was, too. No. I don't think it is. I don't see his name back here. Kevin Bacon. Oh, that's probably who it is. Yeah, you're right. Okay, now I see that I see that photo right there. Yeah. It is Seven Degrees of right Kevin there. Bacon. I was <laughs> looking at that thing. Right Have there. you ever played that game, Seven Degrees of Bacon? No, of just bacon or of Kevin Bacon? Kevin Bacon. But they I've, call it Seven Degrees of Bacon. I've heard about it. That's why I said it. I've never actually played it because I don't know who is connected to who, connected to I mean, who. It's, it's similar to like that celebrity alphabet game that I showed you and your sisters. Mm -hmm. 
Or like you named somebody. I got kicked by a random kid. I saw it. She was too busy fussing. And yeah. But anyways, you were saying the celebrity alphabet game? Yeah. Like, um, where, like, uh, say I name, um, Julia Roberts. And then I have to name somebody whose first name starts with the letter R. No, I would have to. Because yeah. you said yeah, Julia. Yeah. So I'd say Robert De Niro. Okay, there you go. And so then you have to do with the D. Uh, David Hasselhoff. And I do Harrison Ford. Yeah, and so on. <laughs> et cetera, and so forth. et cetera. And so on and so forth. <laughs> we could just continue playing the game while <laughs> we're doing this. We could actually. It's a good it's a good game. It's a fun game to play, especially when there's nothing better to do. It's in movies. In her shoes, birth <laughs> collection. Collectors. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. I'm gonna just birth in her shoes. <laughs> you know, in her shoes, comma birth. Or like she released that gross goo when you're like going into labor and it went into her shoes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like her water broke in her shoes. Yeah. I will be fusing movie titles that are next to each other. If you haven't noticed already. And I will continue to sip on my milkshake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next fusion, rescue Don, the astronaut farmer. <laughs> so Don is apparently an astronaut farmer. How do you farm astronauts? I don't know. She's one of those aliens that picks up cows from the fields. <laughs> Cow probing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one sounds like a promise. <laughs> One day, Secretariat. One day. <laughs> That's funny. One day he will get the the ride of his life and then possibly die. Did you see? Definitely. My sister. The Jack in the Box milkshake. Way better than the a Dairy Queen milkshake of pumpkin pie. Dairy Queen in a certain state. <laughs> I think they have Dairy Queens up north. Cause no, they do, but the ones here are locally owned chains versus like a mass chain. I can swear they were all tied in because I've been to Chicago to visit cousins before and they have Dairy Queen up there too. Yeah, they do, but the Dairy Queens here serve burgers and the Dairy Queens everywhere else out not in this state don't serve burgers. They really? just mm hmm How'd you know that? I looked it up one day because I was like, because it was funny because I was thinking to myself, what do they say for their... For their slogan, like outside Iowa of Queen. Uh, no, outside of Texas. But so the slogan for the Dairy Queens here is, "That's what I like about Texas." And I was like, "What do they say in other states?" Because I know they're in other states. So that's when I found out that Dairy Queens in other states like are different things about their states are different than the ones here in Texas. Because the ones outside of Texas don't sell burgers; it's just the ice cream stuff. I never knew. And then here it's like an actual restaurant. Look, it's your favorite dog. Yeah, I want one of those. But not this dude. He's not no. a dog. No, but I'd settle for that one. He's kind of nice. <laughs> 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 eh, he kind of seems overrated. Just checking boxes. Yeah, snag a piece of this. That's fine. I definitely think it's way better than the, the Dairy Queen one. Like the other one tastes like you're tasting like liquid pumpkin pie. This one has more of a subtle pumpkin taste, like, and it's not as spicy. So I definitely yeah, like right. the, the Jack in the Box with right, a no random milkshake review in the middle of a video shopping vlog. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We're not stuck up around here. Mm -hmm. And I'm still comparing boxes. Whip it, whip it, whip it. <laughs> whip it. Whip it, whip it, whip it. Whip it, the collector. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess I guess that one's still the better of the three. What are the fusions? I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. That sounds like you're describing a scenario to like a police officer. Run, fat boy, run, yelling to the sky. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Hello, I must be going Bernie. Here it sounds like you're calling Gulliver a junkie. Gulliver's travels are hand in crank. Uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> or going off of that, uh, 
other movie you comboed earlier. It sounds like a society. It is Little Funker's Adjustment Bureau. <laughs> I would not want to be a part of that. I have no idea if this is worth. Oh, it's, it is a really good movie. Is My sister good? and I like it. It's stop motion, and uh, George Clooney is the voice of the main character, being fantastic, Mr. Fox. Yeah. It looks interesting. Um, it's really good. I'll probably try it out. I haven't seen it, but I'm like four dollars. Yeah, it's good. Plus, well, like I said, I can always do what I do. If I don't like it, I can just take it down to like Waterloo, trade it as credit towards something else. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> That's fun. Great value. Uh, That's what it says. This, this one's so on sale, the back cover got ripped. <laughs> and the cover isn't completely covering the whole front. I know. I've yet to see the soloist though. It's not in this pile, is it? Yeah, it's right there. Hold That's on. why I said it. <laughs> Oh, I'm on it. Yeah, and there's one on the side over there, too. I have no idea what that's in about. It's about, like, I think it's like this homeless, homeless guy that's, uh... But Mr. Overrated actor's in it again. Oh, um, he's not Mr. Overrated. The same one from the box with the little French bulldog that we were looking at earlier. That's not, that's Robert Downey Jr. I know, isn't that what you were saying, is you feel he gets too much attention lately? No, I was talking about James Franco. That was not James Franco. Yeah, look, totally over here. Rewind. Look. Oh, no, you're right. It is Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Dang it. That's why I was like... I totally thought I totally thought it was that movie with James Franco. The Pineapple Express? Yeah, because isn't that the guy, too, that was in him? I don't know. Whoops. My bad. You rocked Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> I'm sure but, a lot of women but, have said that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, now I see what you mean in terms of like you wouldn't mind him because now. Because <laughs> I was like, James Franco, and then I really, but like Robert Downey Jr. Like Robert Downey Jr., hell yeah. No, I, see, that's what I was saying. I was totally, completely talking about James Franco earlier. Oh, so now you agree with me, My Robert Downey Jr. is okay? Well, he's pretty cool. I totally thought that was James Franco. <laughs> On this box. James Franco got old really fast. Uh, no, but look, if you look through this pond, look, doesn't it kind of look like him? Yeah, it totally does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Barbie. Here's the maybe this, pile. Well, no, this is the maybe pile. Oh, okay. This is the, I'm pretty sure I might get it pile. Oh, okay. Which is technically still the maybe pile. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's the maybe pile. <laughs> I know, but I just wanted to make it some fancy. Here's a movie that already tells you it's a foreign film. French film. <laughs> Plus it says foreign on the side. The little green sticker. Oh, four. <laughs> French film. French film. I haven't seen this yet. I haven't seen it yet either. I don't know if it's any good. Neither do I. But I know we had, we had seen always, the books. I've always wanted to read it. I never got around to it. Oh, World War Z? It's totally different from the book. So, I mean, you don't really need to read the book in order to... Because the book is just a lot of newspaper clippings and oh, stuff. Okay. So, I don't... I honestly don't know how they made a movie out of it. Oh, wow. But they did. Nice. It was really good. That's cool. Oh, okay, cool. I guess I can see it and not have to worry about it then. <laughs> a thousand cuts, the family that prays. <laughs> exactly, a, a family that goes around cutting people and hunting people. <laughs> Torture, worship, or something. Weird. What do you call it, inbred uh, zombie murder family? What was it called? From um, Cabin in the Woods? Oh, okay. Do I don't remember? remember. Like when they were like betting and trying to figure out what monster it was going to be that was going to come after the kids. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre being the crazy, or part two specifically, the like the crazy psycho brother that had the metal plate, and then oh, yeah. Leatherface that was all just like yeah, the, jiggling and dancing with his chainsaw. The one about like he wanted to request a song or something. Mm hmm. Yeah, and he like kept scratching his head and like pulling out like bits of skin on yeah. the Yeah, I was like, why is he lighting a, a hanger and then scratching his head? Because it itches. Yeah, and then I realized after I found out he was wearing a wig, everything must go. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, that's a cool angle. Including the mirrors. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That'd be pretty cool, actually. <laughs> I like the whole dun, dun, house dun. lined in mirrors. Mm -hmm. like, like, where'd you get such a shiny ceiling from, Blockbuster? Yeah. <laughs> Half price. <laughs> it was in a book. It's hilarious.
Yeah. It's all run down, even that shelf gave up. Dang. Hang in there, shelf. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Employees only. Not anymore. Everything must go. <laughs> I'll take that sign. Well, they kind of went through like semi alphabet ties to make it a little oh, easier. Oh, yeah. Though. You're right. A. 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 C. <laughs> Pound sign. Number sign. Tic tac toe board. <laughs> Hashtag. Oh, yeah. Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag. Blockbuster is dead. <laughs> dead Buster. I kind of like struggled to come up with something. Like, <laughs> hashtag. I'm like, oh crap, now I have to come up with something. <laughs> Hashtag. Open house. Hashtag. Australia. <laughs> Hashtag. Another year. You don't want to hashtag Australia. You piss off the New Zealanders. <laughs> Hashtag uh, Flight of the Concords. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag The Grudge. Hashtag The American. <laughs> Hashtag White Underpants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hashtag Almost Done with the Milkshake. <laughs> That's funny. I tell you that I've seen the one with Robert Redford. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, this one's really good. The box is all like beat up though. Oh, uh, eh, it's not that bad. Well, yeah, kind of, sort of. Yeah. Mia Farrow. She, I believe, used to be married to Woody Allen. And then he cheated on her with their adopted daughter and they ran away together. And that was the end of that story. And she was never Creepy. in any of his movies ever again. Creepy. Who cheats on their adopted daughter? No, or he with. Cheated. Yeah, I know what you mean. Actually, Really disgusting people. <laughs> It'd be funny if this one was reversed. Instead of little Buddha love me, love me little Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, empty shelves. Some, t some over here. This is definitely way bigger than the store that I went to by myself earlier though. Oh really? Did they even have any stuff left over there? Yeah. <laughs> We're in the uh, rated X. comedy section. <laughs> or we could put the strike movie next to this one. No thanks. <laughs> Look, see, he does have some forehead. Well, not that much forehead. Well, because it's covered by a copy ultraviolet digital Blu-ray. I think he has like a more like a longer face, like an oblong face, rather than like a pizza round face. So yeah. he doesn't look as forehead. Jason Statham, safe with a forehead. Jason Statham will be safe. I don't think anybody would mess with a guy like that, especially the kinds of movies he does. Mm -hmm. Even if he has a stunt double, do you really want to find out what he can do to you? I wonder if he actually knows martial arts. Probably. I mean, Sarah Michelle Gellar actually knows martial arts. I believe she's a third degree black belt, and I'm like, she was Buffy. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. So she can actually wipe the floor with you in real what? life, too. Hashtag, need a refill. I know. <laughs> we covered it. I know. <laughs> I'm actually surprised to see this here. Oh wow! Wait, Isn't that Blair. awesome? That is awesome. <laughs> I did not expect to find this one at all. Neat. I like this movie. Don't you already have your copy though? Yeah, I already have this one. Yeah. Want to buy some things? Makes me feel like this. Still got Stanley. 
<laughs> I didn't catch the stance. Oh, there's somebody right behind you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't even do it with a straight face. Nice. Okay, um, the end. Um. So we just got home from our little blockbuster run, and I just wanted to run through really quick and show you what we did pick up. Um, obviously, dark skies. Um, this was the only one that was not $4.99. This one was actually... Uh, $8, but not the end of the world. I really loved this one. I thought it was a great film. Um, originally actually rented this off of a uh, Redbox, uh, which was a an rental feature that I recently started using at the time uh, when this was first out. Orphan, which is a blind buy. I've honestly never seen this. I've heard some mixed stuff here and there, either good or bad. Um, the cover just really doesn't interest me. It strikes me as just very boring. Um, but obviously a demented kid film, so we will give that a try also. That one was four dollars, so not too bad. Um, the Collector, which I have been dying to see as well as the sequel, The Collection. Uh, the majority of what I picked up today were uh, blind buys, but you know for four dollars I don't think that was such a bad thing, so I will find out what that one is about as well. Soloist, my boyfriend was trying to explain this to me a bit. Um, I was mostly just sold on the fact that Robert Downey Jr. was in the film. Um, Jamie Foxx is also a great actor, so I will take a look at that and uh, see what we think. Um, 10,000 BC, which I thought had great cinematography. I know a lot of people trashed on the story, but I thought it was a good film, so that is good enough for me. You know, basically just a damsel in distress type story. Fantastic Mr. Fox, which I have not seen, but I love little animated stuff, and it's if it's stop motion, then I absolutely love it. Um, plus, it's little animals, so why not? Um, seems to have uh, great voice actors involved as well, so I will definitely take a look at this. The majority of, like I said, what I picked up tonight were blind buys, so I'll find out soon enough what they were about or if there were any good. Um, so yeah, definitely looking forward to taking a look at that one. This one I remember seeing trailers for when it was in theater, and I never got a chance to see it. It looked very interesting, very fun, just the whole, um, what do you call it, like the Robert roller derby type deal. And I know that recently picked back up again in popularity, uh, since this had been, I guess, more of a 70s thing. I'm really not too familiar with the, uh, the sport, but I would definitely love to actually watch a match. They look, they sound very intense, very fun. And um, I know here in town we actually do have a, a ring where we can actually watch this. So, I don't know. I will take a look at all of these. So that is pretty much the uh, all of the crazy from today regarding uh, blockbuster pickups. So for those of you who are interested, I'm just going to do a quick run through of some of the stuff that my boyfriend and I picked up uh, last weekend, which is our first trip out to the dying blockbuster, which is literally just about two or three blocks down from where we live. So... This is the stuff we picked up on our first run. Um, a few blind buys here. I'm definitely very guilty of that, but when everything's $4.99, it's not the end of the world. Um, so The Loved Ones is definitely one that I've been wanting to see for a long while. I've heard really good stuff about this one, so looking forward to watching that. Birth, which I have seen before. I thought it was a very interesting story about how a woman uh, feels that, uh, I believe, I forget how old the, the boy in the story is, but she feels that the the young boy this guy right here is a reincarnation of her uh, deceased husband and the boy for some reason fe seems to feel the same way so they have this odd connection not necessarily bor bordering on pedophilia but definitely very odd uh, in the end she obviously walks away leaves the kid alone because she realizes how weird this whole situation is but i think it's definitely a very great film from nicole kidman I think she is a wonderful actress. I definitely think she's very talented and underappreciated in very many cases. Bug. I absolutely love this one. I think this is a great one. Uh, it definitely has a very slow build. Uh, it definitely has to deal with more psychological and um, substance abuse type issues, but this, the film seems to take on just a very slow build, but what it is is that the ending it's just taken so long you don't realize how far it's escalated until 
you've just meet, met the the maximum limit and you've realized how crazy the whole situation is, has become. So I love how they just creep that up on you just very slowly and then right when you think it can't get any crazier, it's pretty much just like, bam, just abrupt ending. So definitely very interesting film. I really liked this one. I wish a lot more people appreciated that one. Uh, Volver, or Volver as most people tend to... Uh, to mispronounce it. I cannot pronounce the director's name, unfortunately. Um, I cannot pronounce that director's name for the life of me, but he's known for just very controversial films. He also works a lot with Penelope Cruz. I think they're a great team together. I think she's also an excellent actress. I would definitely love to see a lot more from her. Uh, but this is a blind buy. I've never seen this one. Not really too sure what it is about. Um, but I'm eventually going to find out when I get around to watching this one. Here's one that I have seen, uh, more of an independent film, Parker Posey and uh, Demi Moore. Uh, they're basically dealing with a father who, um, I forget if he has uh, dementia or, or some side of a, a, a memory issue, but um, it's obviously more of a drama. They have to deal with personal issues while handling their father. And um, there's sort of like this family story about... Uh, treasure being buried in the backyard and whether they do or do not find it I'm not going to tell you because if you do decide to take a look at the film you can find out for yourself but yeah this was the only one out of the stack that really was $1.99 um, which is fine with me I like the story everything else is $4.99 um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre the beginning uh, just because I want to complete and round out my whole set so I don't mind the fact that this one is uh, a rental and everything else is uh, is newer. I'm not snobby like that, but I don't feel that the the prequels or the remakes were as strong as stories as the originals, but the originals had some stinkers in there too. I mean, do I really have to remind you about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation, which, by the way, is a guilty pleasure of mine. I, I still like that one. Um, I also picked up a Fangoria because I love to read Fangoria. Um, I know this is an older issue, but like I said, it's a dying blockbuster, even though it says November Halloween special. But mostly just picked it up because of Roger Corman. I absolutely love him. The man is a legend, and I think anybody who is interested in film can definitely learn so much from him. Um, this last round that we came out to the video shop, all of the magazines were actually gone, so I'm glad my boyfriend uh, talked me into grabbing this. Uh, definitely very awesome. So I've had... Um, quite a decent amount of pickups from Blockbuster. I'm just going to hold off for a couple of weeks and wait for things to uh, drop in price, see if things uh, get a little lower, especially because Black Friday is right around the corner and I'm going to go splurge over there for a few moments. So uh, that is it for this uh, pickup video and I will uh, see you guys in the next one.